Hey guys, Josh Fletcher here again with your third Apple Script tutorial. This time I'm going to be going over Booleans and if statements. So to start I'm going to ask you to open up your Apple Script editor. Now I know so far I've gone over with you guys your strings, your numbers, and your arrays in the way of variables. And so today I'm going to teach you your fourth variable, which is going to be called a Boolean. Now Booleans are far simpler than any of the three I've taught you so far. A boolean um, is either yes or no. It's either true or false. That's it. And so if I want to set a variable to a boolean, then I would choose whether I want true or false. And I would say set the bool, I'm going to call it, to true. And now I have the variable the bool set to a boolean, true. Or I could go false. And that's all a boolean is. And so you may have noticed in things like display dialog, um, some functions return booleans. I'm sorry, looks like I have it wrong here. Um, let's go display dialog and giving up after, not delay. My bad. Giving up after. And so I run this and then I don't touch it and it'll give up and so it says gave up and it returns a boolean true or if I run it and click something then it says gave up false and so um, some functions return booleans and you'll see right down here giving up after um, if we go it'll tell us gave up will return a boolean and so uh, it's that easy and so um, that's booleans so now everything I've taught you guys so far except um, the display dialog with the uh, text returned. Everything I've taught you so far, no matter which computer you run it on, no matter what the user does, it'll do the same exact thing. And so today we're going to learn how to account for the user. And we're going to learn um, if statements. And so here's how an if statement works. You say if, if, and then you put a statement in here, then and then you put your code and then end if and that's it and so let's go um here a uh, statement is any boolean and so if this statement is true then it'll run it and if the statement is false then it won't run it and so of course I can just put true and false but that's not going to change because on any computer true will always be true and false will always be false so instead I could do something like if 5 equals 3, then display dialog sweet. And so if I run this, nothing's going to happen because 5 equals 3 is going to return negative, or is going to return false. And um, so since the statement is false, it's not going to run the if. And so if we did something like if 5 equals 5, then that's going to return true because 5 does equal 5. And so then you get our dialog here. And so you can go if, and instead of just going if 5 equals 5, and then making another if statement, if 5 equals 3, if 5 equals 4, what we can do is we can go if 5 equals 5, else if 5 equals 3. So actually, let's make that one 5 equals 5. And this one 5 equals 3. If 5 equals 3, then display dialog. Awesome. And so it's just the same thing, else if and then end if. And so this is going to return negative because 5 is not equal to 3. And this one's going to return positive because 5 is equal to 5. And so this code is going to run, but this one isn't. So we should get the dialog awesome, which we do. And so lastly, um, we're saying if this statement is true, then do this. If this statement is true, then do this. And then we can add else. So if neither of those statements are true, then display dialog. And we're going to put a little sad face. So luckily, one of them does return true. But if it didn't, then we would get our little sad face. And so of course, we can swap this out for a variable, which we're going to do right here. We're going to set the result 
to text or yeah to text returned of display dialog what's your number and then um default answer and so then um so the result will be set to what's your number and of course at the end here we can go return the result just to see so let's put our number in a seven and then let's play sad face because we haven't changed anything yet but it should return the result which is seven so that looks good so now let's go if the result is equal to three then if the result is equal to four then else okay so now I'm going to put um, in the number 4. And so now it should display dialog awesome. Right? But we get a sad face. Oh, okay. And here's what I was warning you guys about. So if you'll notice, let's let's take um, let's take the display dialog here into a new window so I can show you return the result. Let's put in the number three. And look at what this is down here. We have a string. And so we're saying if the string three is equal to the number three, then sweet, then display dialog like sweet, but the string isn't equal to the number, so it's not gonna do that, it's gonna return false. If the string three is equal to the number four, then display dialog awesome, the string isn't equal to the number, so it's not gonna, that's gonna return false. And so else, if none of those two are true, then display a sad face. And so that's why we got a sad face, even though we entered the number three or we entered the number four. And so this is exactly what I was stressing on you guys about looking out for the variable type, and I still managed to mess it up. So I'm sorry about that, but this is an easy fix, and it's a good thing I caught it. Let's just add another line in here. Set the result to the result as number. And so now if we enter number four, we get awesome. And so um, you just have to be careful here. I know right now if we enter something that's not a number, then it'll give us an error because it'll try to make it into a number. And so I'll, I'll be going over how to deal with errors in the next tutorial. But um, this is uh, basically it for this tutorial. So that's um, if statements right there in a nutshell. Just remember you go if and then something that returns a boolean, then your code, else if, boolean, then, and then else to cover everything else. And um, that's about it. Thank you for watching. As always, my contact info is in the... Uh, in the video information if you have any questions comments or um, topics that you want me to go over in the future don't be afraid to contact me thank you